Were the Russians, uh, you, you do believe they were part of the chemical attack? The Pentagon's looking into that tonight. I think there's mounting evidence that they were complicit in one way or another, that they knew about it. Russians at some level knew about it, and they should be held accountable along How with How do we do Iran's. that, though, without military conflict? Well, there are other steps that can be taken to bring pressure bear on the Russians, including sanctions, forcing them to recognize their responsibility yeah. to the world through organizations like the UN and other means behind the scenes. But one way or the other, Russia is testing us around the world through the violation of the INF Treaty involving cruise missiles, other steps that have been taken and are ongoing. I want to show you two pictures. These are disturbing pictures. Obviously, I'm going to show you. They're, they're children. Children in agony after sarin, a sarin attack in Syria. The one on the left is a child, 2013, August, when Assad crossed the red line that President Obama had set. The one on the right is this Tuesday, sarin attack. Trump struck the Assad regime 63 hours later. Do you regret that Obama didn't do something in 2013, so we never had to see that picture? Well, Obama reached an agreement with the Russians. The Russians failed to uphold their end of the agreement. Well, we all have heard John Kerry. He said they got rid of the declared chemical weapons. Obviously, there were chemical weapons still in Syria because they just used them this week. What's unclear is when and where those chemical weapons originated, and that's part of what the Pentagon is now investigating, as it should. There is no basis to draw final conclusions here about the Russians or anyone else, but clearly the Russians failed to uphold their end of the bargain. And remember, Aaron, we provided every opportunity for the disposal of these weapons. We provided ships that were especially equipped to take But ultimately, away. we trusted the Russians. We trusted. And ultimately, they didn't do it, right? And, I mean, is that, is, isn't that the bottom line? And that's a lesson here, not only in Syria, but around the world.